Today we find ourselves in chapter 5, section 2, and we're going to be talking about the structure of the House of Representatives in the United States Congress. Um, my guiding question to begin this is, what is a compromise? And give an example of a time when you compromise with a friend. Compromise is really important when you're talking about uh, the government because what happens is every part or every branch can belong to different political parties. So in order to get things done, people who have different views of uh, points of view are going to have to work together. Um, in this, we have certain people who make up the leadership. So I want you to think about this essential question. What is the structure and the organization of Congress? If the president dies or is unable to perform his or her duties, the vice president steps in. If the vice president is unable to perform, the next person in line of succession is the Speaker of the House, the most powerful person in the House of Representatives. Before a person can become the Speaker, he or she must already be a member of the House of Representatives, be elected by voters to represent them. The Speaker must also be a member of a political party that holds the most seats in Congress, called the Majority, or the Majority Party. The Speaker is chosen behind closed doors and other elected representatives from a majority party. So in our current speaker, uh, in this, this year, we have the Speaker of the House is Nancy Pelosi. Uh, she is the presiding officer, and she is the most powerful of the leaders. She is a chosen in a meeting of the majority party, because this year, in the last election, the Democrats took control of the House of Representatives. She filled, um, before that was Paul Ryan, who was a Republican. Um, whenever the Republicans lost control, uh, lost the majority, he retired, um, and Nancy was elected by her constituents. I'm sorry, by her um, other leaders who are representing constituents, which aren't we people who members of Congress have been elected to represent. Besides Nancy, there's other people who have a lot of power. Um, there's a majority and a minority leader. Now, the the minority leader right now is the Republican Party, so the minority would be Kevin McCarthy. He is a congressman from California. And in the majority, the Democratic Party, you have Steny Hoyer. Those, besides that, we have also people called the majority and the minority whip. And the whip is an assistant to the party floor, uh, the leaders in the legislature. On the left, you have the Republican minority leader, Steve Scalise. And on the right, you have the majority leader, Jim Clyburn, um, from South Carolina. In this, we have congressional caucuses, and what a congressional caucus is, is a group of members of the United States Congress that meet together to pursue common legislative objectives. I have a Wikipedia link here. I know we don't always look at Wikipedia, but there's going to be a link that we're going to look at in class to show you how uh, the different caucuses go, and it might be stuff like uh, minority affairs, it might be African American rights, it might be women's rights, a lot of different things that are looking at what do we do together as a group in order to help uh, promote or advance laws that are going to be helpful towards a certain people. Lawmaking in the House, um, after a bill is introduced, it's sent to appropriate committee. The Rules Committee is the oldest and most powerful of the House committees. And these Rules Committees control major decisions in the progress of a, of a bill. A quorum is needed for official legislation to be active. And so what we're going to do in the class, we'll be able to look through, and I'm going to show you real quick on here, as much as we can see on the screencasting. Um, right now you see that there are a lot of different committees, um, things from agriculture to appropriations, budget, education, ways and means, veterans affairs, economics, taxation, oversight and reform. And a lot we've seen a lot lately is the Judiciary Committee, which is where um, the, the president is being investigated at this time. 